Okay, before we can start using React Navigation, we need to install it and all of its dependencies. So I'm on reactnavigation.org. I'll go to the docs. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Yarn implementation of installation. Go ahead, use NPM. I don't care. I just use Yarn. Uh, so what I'll do is grab that. I'm going to go ahead and quit the React Native Packager. I've got yarn add react navigation slash native. Uh, before I run that, I want to go ahead and grab all the navigators I'm going to use. I'm going to be using the stack navigator. So we'll go ahead and grab that. I also want to grab a tab navigator, which we can get here. And then finally, I want to grab the drawer navigator. Go ahead, hit enter so it can grab all that stuff. While it's doing that, let's go ahead and go back to our getting started guide. And in here, you're going to see two options. One, installing dependencies in a bare React Native project, and one in an Expo managed project. Now, we have a bunch of dependencies we're going to have to install above React Navigation. These are peer dependencies that it needs to function. React Navigation does a lot of really, really cool stuff and makes it really, really easy for us. And part of that, uh, one of the reasons they do it and do it so well is because of these other packages it uses. So these are not optional. They're absolutely required. So make sure you go through when you're installing this, just copy all this. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of this. And then I can go ahead and go to my terminal, paste it in. And you can see we're installing React Native Gesture Handler, which ha helps with gestures, Reanimated, which they help they use for their animations, React Native Screens, which does a bunch of magic stuff. React Native Safe Area Context, which is going to help you avoid the uh, notch and tab uh, activity indicators, all that stuff. And then Masked View, which I think helps with uh, basically ensuring that when screens are crossing over each other, things work the way you expect them to. Now I'm going to go ahead and install that. If you're using Expo, that's all you've got to do. If you're using Pure React Native, you're installing the same packages. We're just using Expo install here uh, because Expo is going to bring in all of the correct versions for the version of Expo that you're using. If you're using React Native CLI, go ahead, install the packages, and then you need to go ahead and make sure you install the uh, pod dependencies, the Cocoa pod dependencies, to make sure all of that is set up and good to go. There's also a few steps you need to take to enable React Native Gesture Handler, and then a few other things. So just follow the documentation. It's all straightforward. There's a lot of dependencies, but they're all very important things. So uh, once you've got all of that installed, everything's completed, you're good to go to continue on to actually start writing that React Navigation code.